So let's jump right into project six. Here are the supplies you're going to need for this project. Paper, a ruler or straight edge, crayons or colored pencils. I'm going to be using markers today. And you're going to need something black to draw with. So let's start with our paper, our ruler, and our marker. So we're going to first divide the paper into four. This can be even or not. Um, you just want to make sure the lines are straight up and down and straight across. So I'm placing them kind of toward the middle. So we're making a cross on the paper. Then we're going to take our ruler and we're going to go from the middle all the way out to the corner. So where all the lines meet, all the way out to the corner. And we're going to do that in each box that we've made. So again, line it up with the middle and the corner. And the middle and the corner. And that is the first step. So next we're going to pick one of our sections and we're going to kind of make a bump and we're going to connect both of the lines. So from one line to the other, almost like a rainbow. Now it will go off the paper so we have to imagine where these lines will stop and start. Then we're going to move to the next section. We're not going to skip any sections. And we're going to connect the lines with a reverse rainbow. So you see the first set went up. This one is going to go down now. If you have trouble doing that, you can turn your paper like I did. That way you're still drawing an arc. And again, we want to connect the lines. We want everything to touch. Moving to the next section, we're going to go back to the rainbow arc, connecting our new line to the edge. So right there, to the edge. New line to the edge. New line to the edge. New line to the edge. We want to make sure all of our lines are touching. Now we're going to go back to that reverse rainbow. And again, if it's easier for you to draw that arc flipping the paper upside down, do that. I know it was easier for me. All the way to the edge. We want to make sure that we don't skip any sections. This way all of our lines will connect and match. There we go with the rainbow. Going down. Connecting that line to our new line. And then filling in the extra lines. upside down arc or upside down rainbow. So this is an alternating pattern, meaning we do one and then the other. So we're going to do an, a right side up rainbow and then an upside down rainbow. And we're going to repeat that pattern until our entire paper is full. And as you can see, now we're going to connect our remaining lines to each other. So we get one full shape all the way around the paper. Just like that. Okay guys, let's take a quick brain break and a stretch. This week, we're going to be looking at an optical illusion. So, take a look at this image. 
and I want you to move your eyes across the pattern, back and forth. Do you see something moving? Well, it's not really moving. It's just your brain being confused by what your eyes tell it. Optical illusions happen when your brain and eyes try to speak to each other in a simple language, but then get mixed up. If you have the time, you can definitely go and look at other optical illusions online. They're pretty fun and can make you really dizzy. I would love to know how this optical illusion made you feel. You can leave your answer in the comments below. Remember, first name only, your grade, and your answer. So now we're going to get into coloring our optical illusion. So we're going to keep this nice and simple and choose two colors. I'm going to start with this teal color. And you want to make sure you start in the middle, closest to our cross section. And you're going to color and then skip before you color the next section. So we want to have a white band or a white space in between our colors. So you see you have our teal color, white, teal, white. We're going to do the same thing with the pink. But this time we're going to skip the first one and move to the second one. So where there was no color in the first section, there's going to be color in the second section. So you'll see the pink band lines up with the white band. And we're going to do the same again for the teal. This must be where I decided to add another color. So you can do it with just two colors. I'm going to do it with four on this one. I will show you at the end what it looks like with just two colors. So be careful with your pattern. So the right side up rainbows, we're going to start coloring right in the center. The upside down rainbows, we're going to leave a space at the center and then use our color. Remembering to skip one band in between. So leaving a white space in between. So this is the upside down rainbow. We're going to skip the middle and start in the second block. So you see the orange lines up with the white space with the purple. And then the next space is the right side up rainbow. And we're going to start with the teal again, right in the middle, so that it's touching. Skip a space, and then color. And you guys can choose your own colors. You do not have to use the colors I'm using. You can use more than two colors. You can use more than four colors. You just want to make sure you have one color in each section. Just like this. So you see the purple are touching in the middle. The purple lines up with the white space where the pink is. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. You guys take your time. As you can see we have every other section either with a right side up rainbow or an upside down rainbow and then we've alternated or changed the color from one section to the other and then we've also skipped a band of rainbows or upside down rainbows. So that's the finished piece. Here's one I did with only two colors and here's one I did with more than two colors and without skipping the white spaces. Just make sure you're sticking to your pattern. And that should make you a little bit dizzy too. Don't forget, submit your assignment on Edmodo for full credit. And remember to have fun and be creative.